Man, oh man, it is tough out there to be a rideshare driver. We were promised so many things and now we're just waiting and waiting and waiting and so few of us have received anything. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you some uh, uplifting news. I'm gonna share with you a lot of updates we've got from drivers, updates from different states, and just kind of what's the current state of affairs. And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you what I think realistically I'm gonna have in my bank account on April 30th. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. Going to have a little morning coffee. I do uh, apologize if I sniffle a little bit. It is hay fever season here in uh, California. And I got a bit of the, got a bit of the symptoms. Uh, just took a Claritin though, so I'll be drying up real soon. All right, enough about me. Let's talk about you. So let's cover some background. First of all, uh, on the 27th of last month, um, the CARES Act passed and it provided for people like you and me, rideshare drivers, independent contractors, gig workers, to get um, unemployment benefits of $167 a week for 39 weeks, plus um, a bonus of $600 a week for 16 weeks. Okay, so that was great. And then uh, we're all supposed to get, uh, uh, we can apply for an EIDL, a $10,000 grant and uh, PPP, the Paycheck Protection Program, uh, that's a loan that you can get, which is forgivable as long as you use it to pay payroll, which would be paying yourself. And that's the equivalent of two and a half times your monthly payroll. So those are the three things we're gonna look at in this video. So what's the current state of affairs? Well, if you go to the uh, EIDL website, this is what you're gonna see, right? You see right there at the bottom, it says, notice lapse in appropriations. And then we go to look at the Paycheck Protection Program website and it says, notice lapse in appropriations. So that means that there's no money. And this happened last Wednesday, the 15th. They all ran out of money. So then our government is now working to put together another package, which is supposed to get actually approved today, passed today, which is the 23rd, Thursday, the 23rd of April. And in this new package, uh, what we see here is uh, it uh, says, Senate approves aid for small business loan program, hospitals and testing. And you can see it says it's $484 billion. So I got into the details of it. And out of that 484 billion, 370 billion is for the loan program. So we're talking about 310 for the PPP, the Paycheck Protection Program, and 60 for the EIDL. So number one, the EIDL. So this is gonna get uh, refunded. So my recommendation here is just that you keep track of the EIDL website uh, you should know exactly, you just go Google EIDL grant application. Um, and if you need help finding the PPP, go PPP application. Okay, <clears throat> stick by the website. And as soon as you see that you can apply again, I would apply. I would expect it's going to be tomorrow or the next day. Um, we had one, one of our readers who uh, got $1,000. So the program uh, is set up so that you only get $1,000 per employee, which for most of us would be $1,000. But you can see here, uh, if you get, if, if it kind of, if <laughs> this is something that uh, would encourage you that you're actually gonna get some money. And she said she got this within a few hours of putting her uh, application in. And then her money went into her account the next day. So that's the process, but I've applied three times and I have not ever received anything. So. I'm not all that optimistic about this program, but I'm just still gonna apply again, because again, let's just keep keeping our options open. Okay, number two, the PPP, the Paycheck Protection Program. So this is a program that I actually have, um, I have an application in and I apparently made the cut, but it said it could take up to like 10 days for them to get back to me. So I'm still kind of in a waiting place. Here again, I would recommend you just stay close to the PPP um, website. And uh, really what you need to do is figure out how you're going to apply. Are you gonna apply through your bank or are you gonna apply through one of the FinTech companies? Now the company I use is called Lendio, L-E-N-D-I-O, and it, it, because I use them, I didn't have to actually go into a bank and they'll tell you exactly what you need. And uh, if you get approved or partially approved, you're gonna get an email that looks like this. 
and uh, that's that's encouraging. So we're still I'm still waiting to find out if I actually got 100% approved and if the money goes into my account. So just get your paperwork ready, be ready to apply, and once the loan, uh, once the the funds are actually available and they open it up again, um, then you can reapply. So at this point, you may say, well, this is all whatever. Maybe you know who knows if it's going to come through. I need money now. Well, what what to do if you can't wait? So we recommend you check out either Instacart, uh, DoorDash, or Postmates. And these are companies that are thriving right now because more people are home. If you don't want to, um, you know, do driving, you can actually just like become a shopper uh, with Instacart. Uh, we have one of our uh, subscribers. He made two thousand a week working for Instacart. Uh, that's pretty. That's pretty good money. Um, we do hear that some cities have a waiting list now because they have become so popular, and a lot of drivers aren't driving and they want to start doing delivery. So go ahead and apply. We have a link um, down below. So you can just click on the link and apply for any one of these uh, three companies. Okay, number four is unemployment. And this is the big kahuna because this is actually a significant amount of money, um, which I'm going to show you in just a second. Um, every state is a little bit different. So since we are not like built into the unemployment uh, system, um, every state is working independently to create um, either a new website or a way that they can incorporate um, independent contractors, gig workers, uh, sole proprietors such as ourselves. Now I'm going to share with you some uh, news that I've seen from different states so you can kind of see how things are progressing positively um, towards us getting some money. The first one here comes from Virginia. Unemployment benefits now available for Virginia independent contractors and gig workers. So it looks like Virginia is up and running. Next here we are uh, in uh, Massachusetts, the Boston Globe. So as independent contractors, self-employed gig workers can now apply for state unemployment benefits. This was dated April 20th. That's awesome. Um, here's uh, uh, an email from one of our readers. He says, Massachusetts just approved my PUA application and is now processing payments for the past six weeks. Pretty awesome. Next, uh, Michigan. Michigan unemployment self-employed 1099 contractor gig workers can apply today. All right. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and then some states have challenges. Here's somebody in Illinois. It says, uh, just an FYI on what is going on here in Illinois regarding PUA, we here in Illinois will not be able to apply for unemployment um, until the 11th of May at the earliest. So that's not very encouraging. And then here's a, another not so encouraging in Colorado. It says, gig workers frustrated with vague error messages as Colorado expands unemployment system. But then we have positive news here from um, one of our readers. He says, hello from Denver, Colorado. I was approved unemployment, including the $600 a week. I have not received money as this was just approved last night. And then here's another one. Hi, Harry. I haven't yet received money, but applied Monday when it was first available, and my claim was processed within 24 hours. The money is on its way, and I know how much is coming. So that's all pretty, pretty darn great. So I would say in general, that's really positive news for most uh, states. Um, they're working towards getting things set up. Now we're almost always already at the end of April. So those are the only things I found. So if, you, if I didn't even mention your state, your state is not going to get online until sometime in May. Uh, but it does seem like all the states are working towards incorporating um, independent contractors. So what's the story in California? So here's what we see when we look in, in, in California. They're going to pay us $167 per week from February 2nd through March 28th. Then we kick into the $600 per week plus the $167, and that would go all the way through July 25th. And then after that, it kicks back down to $167. So what does this look like for me at the end of the month? All right, so the last day I drove was February 3rd. So for the uh, regular, just the, the weekly unemployment without the $600, uh, from the week of February 9th to April 19th, okay, that's 11 weeks. So that's 167 times 11 weeks is $1,837. Then you get the bonus 600, which starts the week of March 29th through April 19th. Um, that's going to equal four weeks. So then you got 600 times four, that's $2,400. You add those two up and you've got uh, four thousand two hundred and thirty-seven dollars. 
Now, you add to that um, the $1,200 stimulus check, which is supposed to be mailed to me on the 24th. I should definitely get that with, by the end of the month. That brings me to a total of $5,437. So that is what I legitimately expect to receive before the end of the month and in my bank account. And uh, come the end of the month, I'll let you know just how we did there. All right, so what are the key takeaways here? Sure, it's been a bit disappointing that things aren't moving faster. But I think I've shared with you enough positive news to give us more hope for the future. And uh, my invitation is that you stay really close to the EIDL application. Uh, find a fintech company for the PPP. When you can apply, apply. And then stay really close to your unemployment website. So when you can go online and apply, you can get in early um, and not let things get backed up because you want to be at the front of the line. Personally, I'm going to be up at midnight on uh, the 28th of April. And uh, when that thing clicks on, man, I am typing my numbers in and, uh, and getting in line because I want to get those benefits by the end of the month. So I recommend you do the same. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, really great to have you here. Appreciate it very much. Uh, if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, subscribe. We'd love to have you be part of our team. This is Jay Crater saying thanks so much for watching. Y'all go out and have a great day out there.